summer is upon us and whatever you have going on, a vacation, a staycation, a summer wedding, well, Macy's has you covered. If you need summer dresses, matching sets, volume sleeve tops, wedges, straw crafted bags. I mean, really, they have what you need head to toe. I'm talking Levi's, Dolce Vita, Lacoste, and more. So shop summer must-haves at Macy's. Go to Macy's.com slash own your style. Again, that's Macy's.com slash own your style. Something I for sure love having in my home is super clean countertops. And I love when it smells good too. So you can bring the vacation vibes to your home with coconut scented Clorox and Tiva. It smells like coconut, cleans like Clorox, and feels like energy with a refreshing scent that'll transform your space into a tropical island retreat and give you a powerful clean. No plane ticket required. Unleash your self-expression with the enchanting coconut fragrance of Clorox and Tiva. You can get yours at a nearby retail store, also available in grapefruit or lavender scents. Host Nora McInerney is back for season two of The Head Start, Embracing the Journey, a podcast from Ruby Studio and Abvi. In each episode, Nora has real conversations with real people living with chronic migraine to see how they took action to understand this disease. So jump into the conversation for season two, a show that creates a little more space for empathy and understanding in such a complicated world. There shouldn't be so much hesitation around asking questions and asking for help. So don't wait. Join the Head Start Embracing the Journey and learn a little more about life with chronic migraine. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. The best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the fifth thing. This is the bonus episode to the Four Things podcast where I share emails that you have sent in. And I always start this episode off with a quote. And today's is a bird quote that we actually put on our four things affirmation cards that we made um, to put inside everyone's package that ordered something from the shop forward last Thursday. It was such a fun little thing. And the quote that we had on the back of the card was this, become like a bird, expand your wings, try new things and fly high as you can. And that is from unknown. So don't know who originally said it, but I definitely like it. And then the four affirmations on the front of the card that we put on there were you are kind, you are smart, you are worthy, and you are loved. And to all of you listening right now, I hope that you know those four things. Now, it's not easy to truly know all four of those things, but you can maybe repeat those things to yourself daily. And you know, that's why we wanted to print them on a card for people and include them as a gift with purchase because it was just a small way of us saying thank you to everyone that helps support what we're trying to do and was able to order stuff that day. And it was fun to be at the office with Mary in California that day to sign all the cards, knowing that they were going inside of your order. And some of you have already started to receive the orders, which is cool. And if you're listening right now and you haven't, it's definitely on the way. There's even some moms and teachers that were sending us DMs that they were ordering so that they could get the card and frame it and put it in their daughter's bathroom so that when they're getting ready, they could do it or their teachers wanted to frame it and put it in their classrooms. A couple of counselors were like, oh, I'm framing it and putting it in my office. So that was just something fun. And I think there's some leftover signed ones. We'll have to count how many just in case. And we might do another little thing with those later. So I will keep y'all posted. All right. First email is from Kayleen in Houston, Texas. Hey, Amy, I'm a longtime listener of the Bobby Bone Show in your podcast. And I feel like we're friends. I had a little bit of advice for my fellow teachers out there. I'm a first grade teacher in Texas. And one of the most important things that we can do as educators is to learn about our students. At the beginning of each year, I make a spreadsheet with my students' names on it, and I have a quick chat with each kiddo. 
During this chat, I have all of them tell me four things that they are interested in. It's a little bit different than asking what they are thankful for, but it does the job. I'm then able to document this information and look upon it throughout the year. The students feel that their teacher is invested and I know what interests them as students. I use these four things when students seem to have a bad day to help cheer them up, look for books that they're into and help spark ideas during writing time. As a teacher, I want my students to know that I care about them and I want to know more about them. I just thought I would share this with you all. It's a quick and easy way to get to know your students. Also, here are four things that I am thankful for today. Queso, sunshine, mountain bike riding, and family. Okay, so Kayleen, thank you so much for sharing this. And I know a lot of you listening right now are not teachers, but maybe this is something you could even do if you're a mom and you're wanting a way to learn more about what your kids are currently into. Just a quick little chat with them, writing down four things that they might be into. And it's something you could follow up with them after time goes by because their interests change a lot. Maybe you're not a mom, but you're an aunt or an uncle. It's something you could do with your nieces and nephews. You can know how to connect with them. Or maybe you work with kids in some other capacity. You're not a teacher, but you volunteer. You do different work. I just thought that this was a nice little tip from a teacher, and it's something that obviously is working for her and keeping that spreadsheet. And I think that the most important thing that we can do for kids, if you happen to have them in your life in any way, shape, or form, is just to make sure that they feel seen. And I feel like this helps do that. So thank you, Kayleen, for that email. Next one is from Kathy in New York and Florida. I guess she lives both places. Uh, She said, hey, Amy, love the podcast. I listen on my runs. You keep me company and distracted. Thank you. Mary mentioned shorts that look like cut off jeans, but are sweats. I am all about being comfortable, but love the jean short look. Can you post a link to them, please? Also, you and Mary were talking about ice cream with sprinkles. My husband is obsessed and he recently learned a new trick, which he loves. Sprinkles under and over your ice cream. He'll never do it any other way now. Thank you for mentioning the neck fan that you were using for Bobby's wedding. My son and daughter-in-law are having their wedding celebration in September. They were married in November with family, and September is the celebration with everyone. Needless to say, the dresses we all bought are more than cool for fall weather, not warm summer September weather. I just ordered a whole bunch of the fans for the whole bridal party. Love the podcast and my Choose Joy sweatshirt, your friend Kathy. Which Kathy, thank you so much for this. And I will get the link. Well, I know the link from Mary. They are rag and bone sweat short pants. And I will put the link at radioamy.com in the blog. So you can go there to find it and make sure you're buying the right ones. And Mary said sometimes they go on sale and she searches it up or she found hers on sale. So you could also maybe search different websites. I'll try to link the sale one, but again, sales, you know, sometimes they're on sale, sometimes they're not. So could be something that you also research on your own. All right. Next email is from Alicia in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Hey, Amy, yesterday when scrolling through my subscribed podcasts, I realized that I haven't listened to the four things podcast in a while. Sorry. So naturally, I've binged because my heart has needed what you've been sharing for a number of reasons. When listening to your most recent Fifth Thing episode with Mary, followed by the fantastic episode with Dr. Kendi, and especially after listening to the one with your brother discussing open-mindedness, I absolutely had to share a book recommendation with y'all. The book is The Scout Mindset, Why Some People See Things Clearly and Others Don't by Julia Goliff. I heard the book after listening to a Vox Conversation podcast titled How to Be Wrong Less Often. I listened to the podcast and purchased the book about halfway through listening. It's so good and perfectly explains what you and your brother and other guests have been discussing on being open-minded and actually listening to one another. It's amazing. Hope you have a great day. All right, Alicia, thank you for that recommendation. And I wanted to share your email because... I have downloaded the book, The Scout Mindset, Why Some People See Things Clearly and Others Don't. And I thought other people might want to either order the book or download it. I will add the book to my Amazon page in case y'all want the actual copy and you want to find it there. My Amazon favorite stuff can be found at radioamy.com as well. 
Another book that I downloaded is The Power of Now. And then something fiction-wise that I downloaded is Artemis, which is a novel by Andy Weir, who is the same guy that did Project Hail Mary and The Martian, which Mary and I have said that we thoroughly enjoyed. So just wanted to share some book recommendations to piggyback off Alicia's email with her recommendation. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. A great pair of Western boots will elevate a casual look or add a refined flair that'll draw both eyes and compliments. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they will last a lifetime. Now, the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. They also offer custom branding and leather stamping if you want to personalize your boots or fine leather goods. And stay cool in a short sleeve moisture wicking pearl snap. Or make your own shade with one of their classic straw hats, new in both men's and women's styles. And if you're planning to hit the road, Tacova's ever-growing lineup of rugged and full-grain leather bags will get you where you're headed in style, and they are built to last decades. Visit Tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. I don't want to waste my time taking vitamins that aren't really going to do much for me. Like, I want research. I want to know, like, hey, this is actually doing something for my body. And Ritual knows this. That's why they conducted the research. They've done clinical trials on their Essential for Women 18 plus multivitamin. The results. Well, it increased vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. And as a woman, I want healthy vitamin D levels and omega-3 levels. And all I got to do is take my Ritual Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin every morning. I take them on an empty stomach, but sometimes if I forget, I may take them in the afternoon. It's really up to you when you want to take them. There's nine key nutrients in two delayed release capsules. And what the delay release capsules does for us is it optimizes our body's absorption of these nutrients. It's gentle on the empty stomach. Like I said, I can take it first thing in the morning and I'm totally fine. And with a minty essence in every bottle, it actually makes taking your vitamins enjoyable. No more shady business. Ritual is essential for women. 18 plus is a multivitamin that you can actually trust. Get 25% off your first month at ritual.com slash four things. Start Ritual or add Essential for Women 18 Plus to your subscription today. That's ritual.com slash four things for 25% off. From searching online to asking your friends and family, there are a lot of ways to look for jobs. But have you considered finding your next job through a staffing company? Your local Express Employment Professionals team is your one connection to endless job opportunities. With just one application, they can help you find a job at a company that fits your needs. Visit ExpressPros.com. And as always, Express never charges job seekers a fee. Express knows when companies are hiring, offers benefits and competitive pay. And in just one interview, they are prepared to present you to multiple companies who fit your needs. Express Employment Professionals places people in all kinds of jobs, including everything from customer service to warehouse jobs to accounting and IT roles. Let Express help you. And remember, there is never a fee for job seekers. Go to expresspros.com to get started and discover for yourself what it's like to have support in your job search. You can also start through the Express Jobs app. Download it today to search jobs, apply, and contact your local Express office. All right, you got to love a place that makes shopping for gifts super easy because heads up, Father's Day is June 16th and Macy's has got you covered. Their ultimate gift guide makes shopping for the dad or the dad figure in your life super easy. You can shop by price, 25 and under, 50 and under, 100 and lux. You can shop by category, like cologne, watches, leather goods. You can even shop by gift lists. Like if your dad loves to grill, then shop for grill master things. If your dad loves to golf, then you can go to the gift list that is for the golfer. I mean, really, Macy's has thought of it all. If you have a tech-savvy dad, voila, Macy's Gift Finder, again, has you covered with that. Top gifts include Beats headphones, JBL portable speakers, Nintendo Switch, and more. 
top brands such as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Ralph Lauren, Columbia, and more. Really, Macy's has it all, so don't be a last-minute shopper. Father's Day is June 16th. Make sure to check out Macy's.com slash gift finder to find a unique gift they'll love. All right, next email is from Michelle near St. Louis, and she emailed me a tell me something good and advice on parrots. Here's what she wrote. I wanted to share a quick tell me something good because my heart is so full and people are good and kind. I walk and jog around our small town a lot. The amount of trash has really gotten terrible. I've gathered my friends or guilted them, whatever, to help me pick it up. This week, a woman named Nancy was picking up trash in her motorized wheelchair. I stopped to thank her and chat. I noticed she was only wearing slippers. I could not stop thinking of her all evening. So I posted on my Facebook about her and how amazing it is that she's doing this and I would love to do something nice for her. I suggested getting her a cute pair of Crocs and maybe some gift certificates. The response from our community has blown me away. People have Venmoed me over $700 and I still have to pick up some other donations. Nancy is gonna be so blessed and I cannot wait. People really are good. Everyone wants to show Nancy some love. Now, as for parrots, my parents had an Amazon parrot for years. His name was Charlie. He was pretty cool and we all loved him. So they decided to get a female for him. Precious came to our family and she was super overprotective and jealous. She would attack my mom. We ended up rehoming both of them. All that said, I think Stevenson will love it as we did, but I would stick with just one. They are very messy. One of my siblings and my weekly jobs was cleaning the poo and feathers off the wall around his cage. That probably taught responsibility, but not super enjoyable, LOL. Sorry this ended up being long, but wanted to share. P.S. Can't wait to see the new cat. Which, Michelle, I love that you gave us a little tell me something good to remind us that people are good out there. And also a good reminder that you can, you know, gather your friends, neighbors, kids, whatever, and go walk around your town, your neighborhood, different parts of your city and help pick up trash. We used to live in a different part of town where it would get kind of messy with trash. And my husband bought one of those like trash picker upper claw things. And yeah, he would go on a walk with the kids or we would take the dog on a walk. We would all go and he would have the claw and give it to the kids and they would help pick up trash and we would just bring a little bag with us. And so we were knocking out a family walk, but picking up trash at the same time. So I also love Michelle that that was a reminder that we can be a part of keeping our communities clean. And uh, then, yeah, the whole parrot thing, I don't know what we're going to do. I am just dealing with adding the cat into our home, which the dog and the cat haven't really interacted much. We've been keeping the cat in Stashira's room upstairs and the dog is downstairs. They did have one encounter the other day, which was unexpected and not really planned. And I was holding the cat when the dog found its way through the door and the cat freaked and scratched me. And so I have these big claw marks. Well, I guess they're tiny claw marks because she's a kitten, but it is a pretty big scratch for a kitten. And it did draw blood on my wrist and then other scratches all on my arm from the big freak out. So if anyone has any tips, I've been watching YouTube videos and then talking with friends and getting different tips for people. But maybe some of you happen to know like a really super awesome thing that helped your dog and kitten meet and really kind of bond and get along because I have visions in my head of the cat whose name is Maggie, by the way, full name is Magnolia, but we're calling her Maggie. And then Cara, our dog, like cuddling on the couch or like on a little bed together or on the floor, like in my mind that looks super precious and I can't wait for that day, but I just hope we actually get there right now. I cannot see that happening at all. It's only in, in my distant dreams, but, but I, I'm going to keep focusing on it, that it will happen. So if you have any tips for me, send those, which I appreciate all the emails that were sent in that I could share with everyone today. And I love hearing from you. I know that the whole community loves hearing from you. If you, I feel like these emails were full of just, you know, little bits of advice from everybody. And so I like, especially the sprinkles ice cream one from Kathy. I love that now I know I normally just put sprinkles on top of my ice cream, but now I'm going to layer them on the bottom of the bowl and then put the ice cream and then put more sprinkles on top. That way you're covered in sprinkles and you're good to go. I think that's a genius tip. And then, you know, we had the email from the teacher and then we had, you know, the book recommendation and then the, the tell me something good. So even if you don't have a question for me, you just have something that you would like to share with everyone else. We love hearing stuff like that. So please send it to me. You can put fifth thing in the subject line 
four things with Amy Brown at gmail.com is the show email. And you never know when your note might end up on an episode. If you want to also email me about any cat dog tips, I will take them. I'll wrap up just by saying it was super cool. I posted that Robin Roberts has been using our four things gratitude journal. And I posted some images in my Instagram stories this last weekend. And We ended up actually selling a lot of journals that day, which was cool. But I got several notes from people that didn't even know we had a Four Things Gratitude Journal. And I feel like a broken record sometimes, but it did just remind me that sometimes people don't always listen to every episode or they don't follow every post that I put up on Instagram, nor would I think that they would. I guess I just assume at some point, I don't want to be overbearing or anything, but in case you're a new listener or a new follower... Uh, my Instagram is Radio Amy. Uh, you can find me there. And then our four things gratitude journals are awesome. And we make them under our Espoir line, which Espoir means hope in Haitian Creole. And they help support education through Project MetaShare in Haiti. And you can find them at fourthings.com. Or also there's links to all of that stuff at radioamy.com as well. But it was cool to see how many people ended up going to buy a journal after they saw my Robin Roberts post, which I felt like a stalker. But Robin posts these morning videos on her Instagram and she's in her dressing room and on her counter, you can see that there's a four things gratitude journal. And I have all these different screenshots, like every day that she posts a morning video for her dressing room, I zoom in to see if the four things gratitude journal is somewhere on her counter and it normally is. So I have an embarrassing amount of (laughs) screenshots on my phone of Robin with the journal, but I'm obsessed with Robin Roberts. I'm recording a podcast with uh, the B team tomorrow. There's a couple of people that are members of the B team that have a pod- podcast and I'll tell you all about it after I record, but we're recording it tomorrow. And one of the questions they wanted me to be prepared for was my Mount Rushmore of women. And so I've been thinking through that and I was like, oh, okay, well for sure Robin Roberts would be on there. And then I'm thinking Reese Witherspoon, your Mount Rushmore of women, since there's four people on Mount Rushmore, it's like you just pick four of your favorite things. So maybe Brene Brown, and then I really enjoy Katie Couric too. I feel like she's someone who does a good job of like living life and having fun. She's been through a lot, but she's very smart and kind of has the whole news reporter thing down, but then she also has the goofy fun side down too. So mm -hmm, I admire her a lot. So That's the four that I'm thinking of. I don't know if that's officially the four that I will go with, but that's who came to mind. You could also share with me. I think that's an interesting topic. Like who are your four Mount Rushmore women? So Hadisa, who is one of the B-teamers that I'm doing the podcast with, good topic conversation. So I'll let y'all know when that podcast is out as well so y'all can go listen to it. And uh, yeah, I think that's all that I've got for y'all today. I will be back on on Thursday for four things. Not quite sure what this week is going to look like just yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be an interview style or something. I've got a few different things in the works of what Thursday's episode could look like. Just going with the flow, full disclosure, don't have this week's mapped out just yet, but hopefully you will enjoy it and make sure you subscribe and rate and review to the podcast if you haven't done so already. Definitely appreciate y'all taking the time to do that. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. This sun season, evolve your sun care with new Banana Boat 360 coverage. With Advanced Control Mist, it's a new way to spray. It's an all-new bottle for an all-new mist experience that smells great and is incredibly light on your skin. You can even customize your spray. Like to cover targeted areas, you just tap the trigger lightly, or you can pull the trigger fully for a long, continuous spray, ensuring long-lasting banana boat protection. Plus, it's refillable. From sweat-resistant sport formula to kids' SPF 50+, plus. This is sun care that'll come in handy when my kids are swimming, playing sports, when I'm hiking, when we're out at the lake, or whatever it is that we're doing outdoors. Shop Banana Boat 360 Mist at Walmart, Target, or Amazon. In every pair of Tacova's boots, you can expect handmade quality, first wear comfort, and timeless Western style. Tacova's boots are always made from premium bovine and exotic leathers, and with occasional resoling, they're going to last a lifetime. 
the best way to shop for boots is at your local Tacova store, where you're going to be greeted by the smell of fresh leather and a friendly smile. So come on in, grab a cold one, get fitted by a pro, and shop the latest styles. Visit tacovas.com. That's T E C O V A S.com. And don't go gently, y'all. All right, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's a simple truth that no matter who you are, mental health challenges can affect you, and how you manage them can really make all the difference. That's why everyone should have access to mental health support that meets them where they are and helps them get through things. Now, BetterHelp provides online therapy on your schedule. It's flexible, simple to use, and more affordable than in-person therapy. Connect with a licensed therapist selected just for you. Learn more at BetterHelp.com. That's BetterHelp.com. BetterHelp.com. Amazon One Medical presents Painful Thoughts. With a little help from the internet, I've diagnosed myself with lymphangiomyomatosis, a very rare case, since it only affects women of childbearing age, and, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a man. Book a same-day appointment with Amazon One Medical and get checked out for the thing you probably definitely don't have. Amazon One Medical. Healthcare just got less painful. 